Hey YouTube, this is Zach with Achilles Financial, and today I want to go over some top dividend stocks that I actually produced last year. And as we approach that time period, I want to talk about A, how have those stocks done, and B, would I buy those same stocks now? So this was done as of July 21st, 2022, and last time, again, this was last July, and we talked about ExxonMobil, Bank of America, and AbbVie. And you can see those dividend yields at this point in time. What I did, as I said, what if we were buying a hundred dollars or a hundred shares of each one of these? And you can see what that total investment would be at this point in time. So to tie this in, let's compare that to what the same stocks would be today. And would I continue to buy them? Because the reason or the logic that I bought them originally was due to how well they were performing from a overall stock perspective, as well as did it make sense to buy them for the dividend? So let's take a deeper dive. So what I have here on the screen is the increased dividend income, as well as you can see the total market value associated with that. And again, that's just 100 shares per stock. And what I would highlight is that this is not inclusive of if those dividends had been reinvested. The one of the key differences I would highlight here is during the same time period, AbbVie has increased its dividend by an additional six cents per quarter. So this is something that is super unique to watch and what I am incredibly interested in going forward. One of the things that I think is going to be pertinent as we continue to watch these fall out is does it make sense to buy at this point in time at these higher prices and in some cases at a more reasonable or a lower yield. So the first one I'll talk about is AbbVie. They have continued to be a stellar hold you can see their performance here on the screen over the course of the past year as we approach that time period so yes last july was a good time to buy one of the reasons why there's been the cyclical rotation into abvi was their strong dividend and the company continues to perform very very well and you can see that as the stock price has gone up i would say that the stock is less attractive now compared to their previous dividend and as they continue to perform this may level out, but I'm very hesitant to buy something that is close to all-time highs at this point in time. A lot of that same logic can be tied to Exxon. Again, oil was in a very different place last summer than it is today. That overall market value has increased drastically, and the dividend has gone up as well. So as the company continues to perform, I like that I hold it. I like the stock. I'm not looking to buy more at this point in time. I do have DRIP, or Dividend Reinvestment Program, on, as such, I'll continue to receive those dividends, but at this point in time, I'm not looking to sell and I'm really not looking to buy at this point in time. Lastly, we can talk about Bank of America. I've talked about bank stocks a number of times over the course of the past few weeks, especially as they go into earnings announcements this week. But at this point in time, I think that we need to see them fall a little bit more, despite the fact that we do see higher bonds coming in or higher bond yields which tends to benefit their income at a very high rate because they can ignore the idea of making loans and just get a risk-free premium by buying U.S. securities or bonds. I like that there's potential there, but at this point in time, I think that there's going to be some charge-off activity on the horizon, as well as we're going to continue to see some volatility in the markets. So as such, I'm not buying any of these three stocks that I really loved last year, but I'd like to see them come down a little bit more before I make a move at this point in time. However, this does show the value of dividend investing, where once again, the value of these stocks have done very, very well over this time period. Your income has actually increased over this time period, and it would have gone up even more if you were doing dividend reinvestment. So let me know in the comment section down below if you have some favorite dividend stocks that I should be checking out, and I may cover them in the future. Thanks for watching. Hope you find this helpful.